so normally I talk about Linux things because I am in fact a Linux nerd. But what I want to do today is talk a little bit about something that's outside of Linux. Now, don't fear. I'm going to try to tie this in just a little bit just to not piss everybody off. But I want to talk about blogs. Now, what is this? Like 2004? I mean, come on, man. Why do you want to talk about blogs? Well, blogs are having a little bit of a moment, or at least it seems that way to me. And I think that it's important to talk about these things in the open source space because we are concerned about privacy, we're concerned about the open web, we're concerned about things like that. And blogs are what I would consider the last bastion of freedom, if you will. <laughs> now, that seems overly grandiose just a little bit but i truly do believe this so when you have a blog you not only have the ability to express yourself and basically put whatever you want on there but it's also a part of the internet that you own this is your part of the internet and elon can't come buy it from you it's not going to get shut down because google decided they didn't want to do it anymore this is something that you own you have complete 100 percent control over it and nobody can tell you what you can say. No one can basically pull it down because they don't care for what you say. It's something, again, that you own. Now, I have been blogging off and on for, oh, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years, basically since college. And at times, I've had this experience where blogging has just been really, really good. But I've never really been a blogger about personal issues. You know what I mean? Like things that just have to do with me. You know, I'm more I was trying to be the next Engadget at one point. It was a stupid dream back in college. I wanted to start a tech blog. Everyone in 2007 or something, whatever, wanted to start a tech blog. So don't judge me too harshly. But, you know, I wanted to do that. But it was never really all that successful because, again, it's very impersonal. And everyone was doing it at the time. So it was really hard to be successful. But now, I've decided I'm going to instead own my part of the web. So I've created my own personal blog. I also have a blog for the Linux cast. And I have these two blogs where I can basically do whatever I want. And not only has the experience been awesome. I mean, it's just seriously, it's just so cool to be able to just write something and put it online. And you don't have to be a writer to do this. Like, I, I, I'm a writer, but I, I wouldn't say that I put a, a ton of effort into the blog posts i just write my thoughts and put them up and you know after reading them once for spelling errors you know so it, it, it's it's a place where i can express myself and also be free to do so now i know that blogging isn't for everyone but i truly do feel that having your own place on the internet even if it's just a profile page is very very important because it gives you a sense of ownership over the internet that social media and youtube and all these things don't really give you because they're all owned by someone else they all have their own rules and all this stuff so what i would recommend is even if you're not planning on starting a blog go out first and get yourself your url now I really do think that part of getting a social security number here in the United States should come along with a for life URL a domain name. I think that that'd be really good for everybody. Everybody should just get their name as a domain name as for their life. That should just be a thing that happens. Now, maybe that's too socialistic for people, but I think that the, it, everyone should own their domain name as their name. Like I own some of mine and not all of them and they're not all dot coms because there are other Matthew Webbers out there so I have variations on a theme if you will but I think everyone should have their name as a domain name in some form or fashion and then you can use that domain name to either start a blog which I highly recommend or have a profile page or a link tree or something basically something online that you own and have control of whether that blossoms into something more is completely up to you it allows you to have a presence on the internet that isn't a reddit a, a subreddit somewhere with a random anonymous name so this is a very short video I, I will leave a link to my both of my blogs in the video description and in the comments section below so you guys can go check them out if you want to but basically i'm i'm hoping that by making this video i inspire someone to just think you know what I should start a blog. I don't have to be successful. And I guess that's something I should talk about. It's like, you don't have to start a blog in hopes that someone's going to read it. 
Like, I don't care if anybody reads my blog. I think it's cool that people do. And part of the reason why people do is just because I have a YouTube channel that people follow. If I was a an actual nobody, instead of having 60,000 subscribers, instead of just being a minor nobody, nobody would read it. And that's fine. I, like, I don't do this because I want people to read it or I want to be famous or I want to make money. There's no ads on my blogs, right? right? I do this because it allows me to put stuff on the internet and have it so that I can put whatever I want on the internet. I don't have to worry about being copyright striked or anything like that. So that's the reason why I do it. And I think that if you go into it with that attitude, you'll find that you will have a lot of fun doing this tiny thing. Also, just on the side note, I had a very good time messing around with blog stuff. So things like Hugo and all the stuff that goes along with setting up RSS feeds and commenting systems even though that's been very frustrating you know i've had a lot of fun with that so that's just kind of being the nerd kind of thing really it is quite fun so anyways rambling video over if you have thoughts on this or if you have a blog talk about that in the comment section below just to remember that if you leave a link to the, your blog your your comment will be deleted so don't leave a link to your blog in the comment section below if you have a blog that you'd like me to visit leave the name of the blog and i'll do some googling if I want to visit. So that's the best way to do that. So comments in the comment section below. You can follow me on Mastodon. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. There you'll find weekly exclusive podcasts for my supporters. Basically, it's just me sitting in front of this microphone for about 15 minutes or so rambling about nonsense. And you kind of got a express preview of that today. This is me rambling about nonsense. So if you like this kind of stuff, so support me on Patreon or on the YouTube join button below. You can also head on over to the store, which is available at shop.linuxcast.org. I don't know why I pointed the hat a little bit earlier there, but you can actually you can you can get a hat just like this one on that store, shop.linuxcast.org, and uh, you can only be a Linux nerd if you have a Linux nerd hat. So there's other stuff there as well. So if you want a T-shirt or whatever, all the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. I promise I will make more Linux content instead of just, you know, blogging content. Uh, I have been a little bit obsessed with the blog lately, I'll, I'll admit. So anyways, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. I truly, honestly appreciate it. Again, just thank you so very much. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.